Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use the Morph animation in Explain Your 4.0. So I've got a project open here with a few scenes. In this first scene I've got two text boxes and they're overlapping one on top of the other. Now for the Morph animation you need to have at least two elements or slides. Essentially one element, in this case this first text box, will morph into the other which is the second text box. For the first element I'm going to apply the text by letter animation. I'll choose zoom out. By the way, I'll be covering these text animations in a separate video. And for the second text box, I'll choose morph and then morph again. And you'll see a quick preview of the animation. I'll shorten this slider so the morph animation is a bit faster. And now, if you take a quick scene preview, you'll see that the animation doesn't look quite right. That's because we need to set it up. So the first thing we need to do is move the second element to where the first element ends in the animation, like so. Now let's do a quick scene preview, and as you can see the animation still doesn't look quite right. So I'll click the second element, and then let's go to the Effects tab, and I'll check this box for a Move Morphed Object. Essentially that fades out the first object. Let's do another scene preview, and as you can see, it's now looking pretty good. Though I'd still like to change the line color of the morph. So I'm going to click this morph color box, and then change the color to blue, like so. Let's do a final preview, and as you can see, now the morph animation is looking pretty good. In the effects tab, You'll also notice that it displays the slides in the scene. And as you can see, by default, it automatically selected the first element to morph to the second element. But if you've got three or more slides, you can choose where it morphs from. In this second scene, I've got an example of text morphing into an image, as you can see. And the setup is the same as the first example, except that I replace the second text with an image. The third scene is similar to the second scene in which I've got text morphing into an SVG image. In the fourth scene, I've done the opposite, that is, the SVG image is morphing into the text. In the fifth scene, I've got an animated GIF of a butterfly, which is morphing into text, as you can see. And finally, in the last scene, I've got text morphing into a video. So as you can see, there are different ways to use the morph animation in Explain Dio 4.0. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.